Okay, so divided difference is iterative process. Now, first let's define some notation. So we'll define this f xi, okay, and we'll say that's equal to the output, of course. I mean, these square brackets as indicative of uh, basically applying um, the function, uh, the approximation, uh, which is the data points, in fact. Either it's a function that we're given or it's the data points that we're given. So, and this all the way through from 0, 1, 2, up to n. Now, after this, we'll define here something called, something this way, x0, x1. And this x0, x1 is basically what it does is it takes f of x1 and subtracts off from it f of x0. And that ends up being like this. Now, an example, now if we go further on, uh, this um, can also, we can, for instance, also uh, use uh, here, uh, like if I wanted to do x1, x2, so this basically means f of the higher one minus f uh, x1 divided by x2 minus x1, for instance, okay? So that's how this works. And similarly, x1, x3, or um, I'm sorry, uh, x2, x3, every two adjacent points, you um, can create something like this. So that's what this notation stands for. So what we're doing is, in, in, and essentially remember, you have uh, fx1 is just we just change colors. So this is just going to be y1, and this is just going to be y0, okay? So we have these values. These are data points. So I just want to show you that you can actually calculate these. It's very easy to do, okay? So y1 minus y0 and divided by x1 minus x0. Very easy to calculate. All right. So then we'll define, uh, so this, we call this the first divided difference. This is called the first divided difference. Okay, so the original is just the data points. Next is the first divided difference. Second divided difference takes um, into account three points. Okay, so it goes like this, x0, x1, x2, for instance. This is just to define the notation, and it's going to be x1, x2 minus f of x0, x1. So how this works is as follows. So if you look at this range, the first you just imagine ignoring this, that leaves you with x1, x2. That gives you the first one. And then you ignore the last one, and it gives you x0, x1, x0, x1. So that's just an easy, quick way to figure out what you're doing. And then, of course, what you do is you take the end values. So you would take x2, subtract off x0. So x2 minus x0. Now remember, um, it's very easy to, uh, this F, fx1, x2 uh, is calculated here, okay? So that, uh, x0, x1, for instance, is that, and x1, x2 is also calculated, is, is right over here. So you would, um, and I'll show you in a tabular way how we can very easily do this, uh, in fact, if we set it up as a table and calculate each of the values. But anyway, this is how we would calculate this, and in a similar way, you could uh, do another uh, for instance, example of this would be uh, you could just, for instance, if you wanted to calculate for the sake of argument, and it, because this is not going to be the only combination, so you might want to do x1, x2, x3. So that would be f of x2, x3 minus f of x1, um, x2, okay, divided by, of course, x3 minus x1. So now, so, and, and in this way, you can also calculate more, depending on how many uh, data points we actually have. In this case, n data points. So this would be, the next one would be, say, for instance, x2, x3, x4, and then x3, x4, x5, and so on and so forth. So in this manner, we can actually continue all the way down this till we reach, in fact, um, we keep adding one more point, and because that's the idea, remember, that we have to have a method that kind of is uh, built upon, builds upon previous information. So here you can see, so we had the n for in our case right now. So, so now that what that's going to happen here is we ignore the x0 and that means x1, x2 all the way up to xn, okay? And we're going to take away from that, um, start from the x0, x1 and all the way to xn minus 1. 
And then we're going to divide that by, of course, uh, xn minus x0. So that basically uh, is the kind of notation just to develop the idea of the notation that we will be using. And now I'll show you in a tabular way uh, using a table how we can very easily calculate divided differences. So we'll do that next. Just I'll, I'll make this, I'll keep this here so you can. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention here is that this, we call this the second divided difference. Okay, for obvious reasons. And so on till the uh, till the nth uh, divided difference. So now let me uh, put the everything in tabular form. So what I've been saying, so let's just do that. And I'll keep this notation here just for your reference. So first we have the data points. This is how you'll practically solve a particular problem. And then you have the f xi. Okay. So that these are your our data points x0, x1, x2, all the way down. And here you have, um, of course, f, uh, this is, pardon me, this would be data given to us so that this would be y0, y1, y2, and so on. And here, then we'll have the first uh, divided difference. Okay, so the first uh, divided difference is basically something like xi and xi plus 1. Okay, so when um, i is 0, so it will be x1, x0, x1 is called, the, that's the first divided difference. Now, the way it works tabularly, how you do this is you go across. So it will be this value first, so y1, but remember y1 is just f of x1. So, okay, for now let me just write down y1 minus y0, okay, divided by x1 minus x0. So that will give us the first divided difference. The next one is going to be again across, so y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, so as we go down this list up to say xn and then yn, okay, then what will happen here is you'll have yn minus yn minus 1 over xn minus xn minus 1. So this will complete the, the column of the first divided difference. Now the second divided difference is going to be the f xi xi plus 1 xi plus 2. So um, that will work out, work out as follows. So the way to actually calculate that is simply you go, not the first, the second one, so you go across. So now I can't really use, uh, what is that in fact? This value is in fact f of um, x1, 2, okay? minus f of x0, x1, okay? So that basically uh, works out the following. So this then is divided by, of course, um, x2 minus x0, okay? So if you want, you can go all the way across here, and you'll be, this is your x2, across from here, the x2, all the way to the first value, which is x0. So it's like x2 minus x0 in the second divided difference. Now, if you see here, this, in fact, by definition, y1 minus y0 is here, you'll see, uh, or here, x1, f of x1 minus f of x0 over x1 minus x0. That's y1 minus y0. And that is f x0, x1. Similarly, x1, x2 is uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's your y2 minus x1, which is uh, y1, sorry, which is here, and this one is here. Now, similarly, we will continue down all the way um, as we go for, I mean, um, go down here, we will end up with, in fact, um, uh, f of here, you'll have x, Okay, minus f. So we'll have that. And this will be divided by, of course, x. 
Okay, so in this way, uh, we've got the second divided difference, and so we will continue in a similar way um, to compute the third and the fourth and fifth up to the nth uh, divided difference. Now, this is how the algorithm works. Um, in the uh, next video, we'll do a, an example, um, uh, in fact. All right, thank you.